Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So frequently, I'll be uh, looking at specs, and sometimes it'll say the audio has been normalized, and then sometimes it says the audio has been compressed. What, what does this mean? So you've done a lot of speaking, and you've probably had a compressor as part of your, your mic setup? Yeah, I have. I don't have one right now, but apparently that could even be done in software. Mm -hmm. So compression, in this case, is not the converting it to an MP3. That's digital compression. And that's also most likely lossy compression. So you're talking about a lossless compression? So analog compression is actually very much like auto gain control or have you ever had a television that had a night mode so that the louds were never yeah. that loud but the quiets were loud enough you could hear them that's compression or normalization and you're making all of the volume normalized so that the volume levels don't vary a lot from the highs to the lows this can be a good thing if you're doing talking head video you want me and you to have about the same volume level regardless of whether I'm calling in on a cell phone or you are sitting in the studio or I decide to walk away and so I'm now you know three Further feet away. from the right. mic and you're two feet from the mic so you're louder than I am. Right. So in those cases it can be a good thing. The problem that comes out of normalization and compression is that most of the CDs that we're now buying are normalized or compressed mm. because when you're competing in radio space, you want things to have that certain level of loudness. And you kind of want everything to sound a certain level of loud. But isn't it better to do that post so that you've got a better source that you can do things with? Well, it is. But the problem with music is you're killing all the dynamic range. Right. Like, I want there to be quiet spots in my music and loud spots in the music. Um there are quite a few people that will tell you that the music happens in the silence and that it's when there is nothing in or when the volume drops that then you can incite emotion. And if you listen to pop music today or country music today off of a CD, for the most part, there's no dynamic range. It's all the same level of loud. And that is a downside to the way that content is being mastered today and it's because of compressors and normalizers so it's not always bad it's, it's not, not always bad it, it, it's a tool it's like anything else it's like auto-tune you know auto-tune has its place <laughs> yeah lord knows <laughs> but it, it's a tool and it can be used for good or it can be used for for evil when you're talking about <laughs> <I don't laughs> know, someone's going to use a compressor for evil necessarily but <laughs> hey you know uh so actually advertise it Ah, so when, yeah, so like when you're watching a TV show, and then it, you know, blah, 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 and then the commercial comes on, it's like, blah, 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 blah. Well, and it's the difference between the the average volume has to actually be quote unquote the same for the for the television show and the the advertisements. That's an FCC requirement, but you can normalize, and so now all of the volume appears to be the same and it's all set to you know this middle ground then your tv gets it and says auto gain control the signals dropped we're gonna raise the volume and so now uh -huh. your tv presents it as louder and that's because when you were watching that show the director was using that dynamic range to create suspense and things like that i mean you wouldn't go to watch a movie and the alien is about to get you, and the volume is just as loud as when he's getting you. Right. You know, there wouldn't be any suspense. You right. need those quiets in order to make it work. So then uh, I, I know the amplifier that, that we picked out for the, the bedroom has one of those controls where you can set it like daytime and the nighttime like you're going to sleep. So it must basically normalize everything. So it's Yeah, it, it does that so that you can still hear the voices, but right. you won't annoy the neighbors when the explosions go yeah. off. Or, like, when the commercials come on. <clears throat> right. That always freaks me out. 